This is our laundry setup, and unfortunately, it's down in the basement. That's where they plumbed everything. And it's also below the level of the sewer pipe. So I have to have this pump mechanism below my laundry tub to pump the water out, out to the field. Well, it's been working great until recently, and then the motor froze up. It just sits there and hums. So I'm going to show you how I fixed this thing with a single 3D print and got this thing working for very little cost. I disconnected the unit from the laundry tub, so now I can take it out to my shop, tear it apart, and figure out what's wrong. Here's a picture of what it looks like inside. Also, this shows the price, $164 to replace it. So it's definitely worth tearing it apart to see if I can fix it. This is the pump assembly right here, and this is the impeller that goes on the shaft. And then there's a cover that goes on top of that, and that's where the water pumps out and shoots out the tube. And I can see where the problem is of why this is locking up. I can see where right here. And what it is is this impeller, I've taken it off, it actually screws on to this shaft, the motor shaft. And what's happening is the motor shaft turns, it's actually pulling this in, and this is then rubbing, these blades are rubbing right against this plastic and then locks it up. And the more it spins, the tighter it gets. Now there's a lip on this shaft that should stop this from going down, but it looks like the tolerance is off or it's wore out over time. So I need a spacer to go between this and that little lip. Now I've tried several different washers that I have and I know I could probably run to the hardware store and sort through a whole bunch of washers trying to find the right one, but this is really a tight tolerance between this and this. I mean there's only about a one and a half millimeters between them. This shaft here measured, this outer shaft measured like 10 millimeters, actually a little bit less, 9.8. And then this threaded part, it, it measured uh, 8.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print plastic washers that are going to be small enough in diameter to hit on this lip on the inside and then outside they'll be larger just to press up against this. And then I'll create a shim so even if this thing tightens down, it can't go on far enough to rub against here and lock up. And so basically I'm making custom washers that I'm not sure I could go to the store and get and I'm not wasting a uh, drive to the hardware store just for that. When I can print them and it's going to take me just a few minutes. So let me show you the design. So I opened Tinkercad software and I'm going to make three washers. And I started with a tube element, just like shown here. Only I'll show you on the smaller one. Here's that same element resized to 12 millimeters by 12 millimeters for my outer diameter and one millimeter tall. So that's the thickness of this washer. But then I had to get the inside diameter right. So for that, I grabbed a cylinder element, like this one. But then I resized it, as seen here, to the 8.5 millimeters by 8.5 millimeters that I wanted. But I had to make it into a hole to take the material away. And then I had to center this thing to make sure it was centered to the tube to make my washer. So I went up to the Adjust Align menu, and then I aligned it in both the X and Y direction. So now these two are centered to each other. So now I just need to group these together, hitting the group button, and now I have my washer. So now what I can do is duplicate this, which is what I did, for a second washer. And that's really just made the fourth one because here's my, my second washer I made. So now I have the same diameter outside, inside, and all I have to do is adjust the height. So that was two millimeters for that one, and I made a third one that was three millimeters tall. So this gave me my three washers that I could now make up to six millimeter spacing if I needed by stacking them on top of each other. So I was ready to create the design, so I downloaded the .stl file and sent that off to XYZWare Software. 
And here they are in my XYZ software. I set them to 90% solid, 2% layer height, and a thick shell. And I exported that. So the slicing began. When it was done, I verified it. And it said it would take 4 minutes and 44 seconds to print this. And very little plastic. So I sent it off to the printer. Okay, so I got my three washers, a three millimeter, a two millimeter, and a one millimeter. And I think I'm gonna use a three millimeter. It's, it's looking pretty good, except it's a little tight going on the shaft. And I think that's because you know, when I print, it's flattened out. It goes on one side, but not the other. So all I need to do is take my finishing tool and I'm gonna clean out that hole. Just go around it. Like that and clean off that, that first layer edge. If you haven't seen this before, I've shown it in other videos. It's just a finishing tool, it's got a pivoting head, and it's great for, for cleaning this stuff out. Okay, so I got this cleaned up and it fits really good. Look at that, it goes right over the sh right over the threaded part but then stops on the the lip down there. Now the bottom, just below the threads, it's a little bit smaller. So that's why this washer moves around a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. So now I can put this shaft, screw it right on there. And I need to put a screwdriver in here to stop the shaft from turning as I tighten this. As I tighten that down, I can feel it. It's starting to hit on something. It's got to be that washer. And look at that. It spins without, without any problems. Now I've got a feeler gauge here that I can slide under it. And looks like the biggest I got on this thing is like a 0.66 millimeter, so a little more than a half a millimeter. And I can easily slide that underneath the shaft, or underneath the, the impeller blades. So there's a lot of gap there. I hope it's not too much. Now the cover that goes over this, I measured this, and there's all kinds of space. So I'm far from hitting this, but I can check it. So what I'll do is I'll just take the, the calipers, and I'm going to put the calipers in there and go down and that's that's where it is 19.54 and then I'll go from the edge here down in and it's 27 so I've got plenty of space between the top of this and the bottom of this so that'll go right over it so I think I'm good now what I want to do is take this back off and I want to look at that washer so I want to make sure it's it's crushing I'm going to take this color back off, and oh yeah, because it, it's it's offset a little bit because it's not fitting perfectly flat, but it's it's making a good good position. So I, I'm liking the way this is looking. Okay, so I've got it plugged in now, and what I'm going to do is just hit the switch over here. And it's spinning good. So I think I'm all set. Now I can put this thing back together and get it back underneath the laundry tub. Here it is reinstalled. All I have to do is turn on the water and test it. You can hear it humming in the background. It's working. So that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you want to support this channel, please click on the link up here. It'll take you to my Patreon account, and there's extra video and stuff that's coming just for my Patreon viewers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.